injured. I have made a massive mistake to prove that you do not need pace. A very good goal from Ito. R -r -r Rage quit. Hi guys, I'm Ghost of Masala and welcome back to another video, sort of a second part to a video I've done before. So you may have watched uh, the slowest uh, Does Pace Matter draft on FIFA where I chose each the slowest player that the draft gave me and uh, made a team out of it and see how well I did to check if Pace actually did matter and also it was sort of a challenge. And um, I was going to do a second part of that, but something came up, and uh, I'll leave a link to both videos in the description. But I actually made a video after that why I could not um, do uh, the draft in the end. But uh, anyway, so I decided, you know, uh, that review, that uh, video has been getting some traction recently, so I might revisit the idea. So well, of whether pace does matter, and this is the verdict, the conclusive verdict. So basically what I did was I made a silver team, 4-4-2 formation, one side had no pace, well, yeah, you know what I mean, and the other side was the fastest players I could find. So I just looked in my club to make it fair so I didn't like go and buy some 94s or something, also I couldn't afford the fastest players in each position so it was just easier that way. And um, chose the slowest players on one side and the fastest on the other side. And the way I would ju I'd judge it after the match is ratings so player if a player had done better than another player that would mean that player had won so it's sort of like a best of five sort of thing where so if the center back if one center back the slowest center back performed better than the fastest center back that center back will get a point for his pace or no pace side so a couple of notable players in this team we have Raphael van der Vaart 30 pace uh, second slowest player player on the pitch um, uh, very, f you probably know him from Tottenham days, and another one being Jen Choji, the centre back that I use in Rotokaido. Top quality, fastest centre back that I had at my club. That was a silver. I'm using silver players for this, and uh, it was, <laughs> and uh, hopefully I try to win the match as well. But uh, unfortunately, uh, that just did not go quite to plan. Plan. First of all, not live commentary because um, you should always check that you're recording first. I've done it like five times not been recording in this video alone so check check that you're recording if you're not you might want to um just finish everything <laughs> off before just check just check but uh anyway so the game was uh, quite entertaining 2-0 down by half time the footage is corrupted but you're probably going to be seeing the third goal go in at about the now where it has gone in and then i subbed a couple of players off which was a mistake Sub the centre mids off, which meant it wasn't quite a fair test, and I sub the, <laughs> the centre back off for a left back, 49 rated left back, because the bench is bronze, so it wasn't affecting anything. <laughs> and then he got sent off, and um, which was quite surprising. And then I missed an open goal, which you might have already seen, uh, which was quite frustrating. But uh, then I got to the end of the match, and. Uh, it was quite interesting, really, the results, and I'm going to show them on screen now. So, first of all, Shoji drew with the other centre-back, which is surprising, because I thought Shoji was much better, but this 28 pace guy was as good as him, according to the game, despite the fact I lost 3-0. Uh, another, the next result was the two left-backs. Guy on the left did better than Guy on the right. He was a slower one, so... It's going quite strangely now. Now onto the onto the strikers. Pena, the guy who missed the open goal, was definitely a lot better than Kotchak, and that was clear to see in the game. <laughs> he was much better, and I would recommend if you want a silver striker, go for Pena. He's very good. But he would get centre mids. Van der Vaart's experience in the top leagues clearly helped him here, as he has he beat um, the other centre mid by three points, and the left mid. Despite having only 72 pace, he felt much, much better than the other guy. Um, because the other guy was just raw pace, and I was playing defensive, so it didn't really work. You need a sort of Ito sort of support with your players, but you, of course, chemistry lacking meant the players weren't linking together, but this guy, he could hold his own, and he was good at dribbling, which means pace not having pace is better than having pace. Do not, but this is the official verdict. Do not judge your players on pace. If you see a guy, like an inform or something, and you want to buy him because he's got a good defensive stats, but he has no pace, it doesn't really matter. That centre-back did as well 
the two centre backs did as well as each other, and that guy was five less rating than being showed. Me. I don't know if it was some sort of accidental bias, but really, I don't think so. I was just trying to win the game, and I clearly did not do that. Uh, but um, yeah, so. I honestly, thinking about it, I haven't even noticed it in my Roto Kaido series, apart from Ito. Ito, right, wingers, you're going to want as much pace as possible, but in other positions on the pitch, pace doesn't really matter, even centre-back, that, like, I didn't even notice throughout the whole game that the, my centre-back was really slow. Same with the right-back, who didn't have that much less pace, that it was just unnoticeable. So, guys, here's the final verdict. Do not judge your players on how much pace they have. It's not worth it. You can get much better stats from other players because, yeah, you know. Use players with good stats other than pace. They're probably be slightly better, unless it's wingers or something. But then you can play them out of position by spinning them on. But yeah, so thanks for watching this sort of conclusion video to a one I did a while ago. But um, yeah, it took a took way longer than I thought it was going going to to make because I had to restart over and over again because people quit and then I messed up the recording so I'm having to po post record at the moment but uh, yeah so once again second time I've proven pace doesn't matter so I think it's pretty conclusive would you guys like to see another Roto Kaido soon if you would please comment or leave a like 